This is the story of an island girl who fell in love with the culture, nature, and food of Jamaica. One depressive day in 2020, she decided to start her YouTube travel channel. A number of local and international trips later, her journey continues in the parish where her very first video began, Portland. She's back here to celebrate her birthday, and so is the gang. But one thing she's learned from Portland is that it's perfect for a birthday trip. So Donovan, how long have you been doing this? That looks snatched. This is one thing you can't help but appreciate about Portland, it's natural beauty. Jamaica is an all-around beautiful country but I just think Portland is special. Guys, this is so relaxing. It's a Sunday, 9.30am, we're in its capital Port Antonio and we just arrived at Rafter's Nest to go rafting on the Rio Grande. Now look snack. <laughs> Rafting from here is two people per raft for 6,000 Jamaican dollars. So it'll cost you $3,000 each with a partner. This is our raft captain Donovan, briefing us that we're going a mile up the river and a mile back. Okay, okay Donovan, where are you? Port Antonio. Port Antonio, what you doing? We're rafting on the Rio Grande. Okay, with Donovan. Hi, Donovan. Donovan! I can't hire me feed job in a Donovan. Okay, I am so you never raft in the center? Ah. Uh. 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 How long have you been doing this? What? Whoa. It's a long time. So Rio Grande is one of Jamaica's largest rivers. It literally translates to Big River and it was named by the Spanish who controlled Jamaica in the 15th and 16th centuries. It is famed for bamboo rafting which has become a leisurely activity for both locals and tourists. And for decades, many locals in the community have made this river activity a stream of income. Because I'm doing this 49 years. Me are 65. What? I live up in that district right there. Okay, okay. Yeah. Nice. And that is snow in okay. a very special place. So we just did some photos off the rafting, going back on the raft now to continue the journey. It's a mile down. All aboard! Monica live life, yeah more. most beautiful rafting ever. I've done rafting on Martha Bray, I've done rafting on Great River, but this one is special. Guys, I have a surprise for my birthday. I'm giving you a birthday gift. Oh no! Banana bread! So that's why they go back out here. Collect the banana bread. <laughs> me also one, remember? No, but I did also one. After me, I'm no. here. Let me, me tell you something. You, by far, have the best yeah, banana yeah. bread. Girl! Kotia, <laughs> baddest girl. You guys should be thanking me. I asked her to make it. So Anyways. I'm the one that should be getting the Anyways, thank you, Kotia. On the way back, we got a new captain. Put your back in it. Aww. We're not moving. All right, we're back with Captain Donovan and we are on our way back. Yo, look how far he has to go with the bamboo. So right here, you know, it's definitely deep. Under the bridge. <laughs> this water is so pretty right here. Do you hear that? What? What? 
What? No, I didn't hear anything. Yes, yes. This is fun. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. So we just left the Rio Grande rafting from Rafters Nest. That's where we went to check in. It was a good time. We had fun. We are now on our way to get some lunch in Port Antonio. I actually wanted to go to Roots 21, which is a newer restaurant that I'm, I wanted to try out. But they're closed today for some staff retreat of all the days. So yeah, we're going to get some lunch now and I'll see you guys there. Welcome to Fusion Bites, you guys. We are at a restaurant in Port Antonio. We went to Bala's, another one, but it wasn't the type of restaurant we were looking for. So we ended up coming here to dine. Jamaican, Chinese? Fusion. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Fusion Bites. Upstairs. With curry gravy. Yeah. On this side. Music. As I must say, I am enjoying the food. I have birthday music playing. Alright guys, life starts to fade. Fire up your lighter. With the waves. Food was good. And now we're going to check into the Airbnb. Hi, Auntie. Hi. Yeah, how you, how's the Auntie life? Stressing? It's what you've been waiting for. It fits you. It suits you. Baby mover. It suits you. You're yeah, the bougie aunt. So, how has it been being an Auntie? What does it feel like? It's been amazing. Yeah? I love being an Auntie. Cecilia makes me very happy. I feel like I just want to, you know, not have one and just keep looking at her. Yeah? We have. We did it already. Yeah, thank you. Chrissy, Chrissy, look what I'm going over here, so. This is crazy. So we booked an Airbnb apartment in the town for $216 per night or Jamaican $33,000. And welcome to In The Town. It's an Airbnb literally in the town of Port Antonio. Beautiful view, sea view right here. So it's a three bedroom. This is the master bedroom, I believe. Queen bed. Own bathroom right here. Nice setup, I like this. It's clean. Very important, it's clean. I think it's newly refurbished actually, so. This is the second bedroom, it has a double bed, much smaller than the master of course, but ample space. We walk into the third bedroom, which has a queen bed. Other rooms are air conditioned. Could have better lighting in here, but the place is clean, which is more important to me. Or is it? Okay, it is. Wow, this looks like the Blue Lagoon. Who is the artist? Daring Johnson. Really? And the dining area is right in front of the view. And then the kitchen is right here. So in the town is literally in the town. Where I stayed in my last Port Antonio vlog is actually up that hill. Two beds, some have two beds, some have one bed. Oh, Nick is showing me this one bedroom which has two double beds and has a beautiful view, balcony view of the sea. Really nice. I was walking in the town like some dryland tourists in Port Antonio. Brittany going to the ATM. The girls walk in like some tourists. Oh, look at that. Port Antonio is a really small town, the capital of Portland. Last time I was here, I wasn't far from here actually. I was on Titchfield Hill, went to Frenchman's Cove and on the Blue Lagoon, which was beautiful.
become too difficult to surprise each other with gifts anymore. So we agreed that the birthday girl must make a list and the group will make a decision on one or two items from that list. All in all, I was just truly grateful to be able to celebrate another year, to share it with my friends and to share this with you guys. Good morning guys, it's a new day. We are all dressed and ready. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, good morning. It's a What's your girl? No, look what I'm um, going to KFC for breakfast. We're going for a beautiful beach cookout at O'Shea's. I'm really excited. I have seen the videos and I can't wait to try the food, have a good day. We're going to have a beach to chill at while we're there. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Let's go. Alright guys, so we are now walking down to O'Shea's 876 Beach Cookout. So you drive, come down a little rocky road just off of the main road. Park over there in a yard. Very community-like. So O'Shea's 876 Kitchen has become this viral sensation in Portland. And I just had to experience it on my visit here. I think what makes it so inviting isn't because the concept is new. It's because it's different. Okay, you prepare the soup? Yeah. He prepares and serves Jamaican seafood and meats over a beach picnic. But my favorite part is that it's family operated. They started only a little over a year ago when Jay, who O'Shea grew up with, edited and posted a video of him cooking on the beach which went viral. Then things took off from there. We love a success story that comes from humble beginnings, talent and hard work. And the support he's gotten from Jamaicans local and abroad attests to that. Dumplings, chicken, still the potato in there. Fresh off the cold pot from Washington 876 Kitchen in Port Antonio, Jamaica. Really good vibe, good food. Guys, I'm with Jay, and this is from Portland 876, one of the biggest paid travel pages in Jamaica. Jay is also a creator behind the Portland 876 page. We became Instagram friends as they were one of the first to share my Instagram posts when I just started vlogging. So it was exciting to know that he was linked with O'Shea and to actually meet in person. Around February 14 or 15. People don't have to on the beach now. People don't have to pick Alright, six sukan, one blanket and no tea. I think it's a success based on the page. I mean, I was excited to come here. I can't wait to taste the food as well. Shout out to Jay. All right, guys, we're going over to the kitchen to see what's going on. O'Shea welcomed us into his kitchen, but he's more the type to let his food do the talking. So O'Shea is here preparing the seasonings. They cater to couples and groups. Group pricing is per person. So a vegan chicken or pork dish is 7,500 Jamaican dollars per person. Seafood dishes 8,500 per person. Mixed dishes are 9,500 per person. Yeah man, that's definitely the part. See? That part right there guys, that one's mine. And the food each person get is plenty. It's also reservations only. I'm just going to wash my hands first. Ready? Yeah, right here on the chair. Okay, okay, okay. So guys, see them have a little pipe here. Wash my hands. I don't know what O'Shea is going to give me to do, but I think it's going to be something that I can take care of, you know? Beautiful views from O'Shea's 876 Beach Cookout. Them kitchen right there, so tent over here and the beach.
One of the great things about O'Shea's Kitchen is definitely its location. You get access to the beach with this fantastic view. It's quite relaxing and very scenic. You get a nice plate of options when making your reservations. Your seafood dish for example comes with two seafoods, mixed dish has two seafoods and one meat, or two meats and one seafood, plus there's also jerk chicken, jerk pork, oxtail and curry mutton options. Honestly, the food was delicious, but we did notice some of it didn't come out warm enough. Jay explained that it was because of the windiness of the location. The sterners underneath the chafing pans keep blowing out. But we discussed with Jay ideas of making some sort of windshield for the sterners. It's a good vibe. Really cool people. And they have a nice setup here. The food itself, really good. And the amount of food you get, guys, it is, it's a whole lot of food. Let me show you. So I have lobster and shrimp to take home food and sides here. Oh, and my fish. The sides are bomb. Bami festival rice and peas first plantings and i got a bottle of wine had a great time guys and i am so happy i got to spend the trip with my girls in one of my favorite places here in port antonio o'shea's 876 kitchen was wonderful very beautiful stuff yeah. and we have nice red star wow, wow i haven't had this in a long time i should get it okay how much we start um 1500 dollars I want, definitely want a star because I haven't had it in so long. Um, thank you. Thank you, honey. Jimbelin, I want him that. What do you have to start with? You guys call it Oh, fruit. that's what. <laughs> but it's not all I see it too. More like a Jimbelin. Star fruit. I know it has some in the know. You call it Jimbelin. Yes, I'm asking one of them Jimbelin. <laughs> we just had to get something from this nice lady. On our way back to Montego Bay, on our way home. See you later. Thank you for watching the video. Bye!